Hello again. Pietro here. <laughs> I forgot to grab the box. We're going to unbox something fun today, something that I've been waiting for for a long time. Here we go. Oh, dang it. Lock blade, anticlimactic. And again. So I'll make a small incision somewhere. Right. It's the, well, you saw the thumbnail. It's the Google Pixel Watch LTE. This is the first official smartwatch that Google has released. They did some work with LG and some other manufacturers, but this is the first official one. You know, like when they first did their phones, they were using other, carry, other manufacturers, but then they started doing the Pixel phone and now they have the Pixel Watch. And this will pair nicely with these, I hope, the Pixel Buds Pro, which we'll be testing. Here we go, ready? Little ASMR. Ooh, that was nice. One more. And, ooh, I was gonna, let's do that again. I love this part. It's tiny. It's it's so cute and tiny. Oh, it's just like an all-in-one. Let's see, what color did I order? Uh, it doesn't say on the packaging, actually. And there it is. That is shiny. A very shiny pebble. And then they have some nice little loop packaging there. We have the larger band. Nice. The charger which should be USB-C to hockey puck. Yes, I am planning on keeping this. Oh, you, know, you can never get these things back in anyway. Whoa, nice long, yes, USB-C. And blip. What happened? Do you see something? Did it do anything? <gasps> it's doing something. Is that the letter G? Oh, had it upside down. The first boot up. So my initial impression is I like it. It is smaller than the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, that's for sure. It reminds me of the sizes of the initial Apple watches, like from years ago. Okay, that first initial boot up is not too fast. Oh, you can see my studio lights. Fancy. Well, oh, that's taking a hot minute. So this is 300 and something. Then we have some pamphlets and stuff. No stickers. That's kind of a bummer. Ah! <gasps> There it is, the rainbow G. I'm excited for this because I think, okay, well, Google's gonna do it right. This is their first official watch. And literally, Android geeks like me have been waiting for this for, oh, I don't know, like five years. Boy, that is really taking a long time to boot up. Okay, we're gonna pause, I'll be right back. So how easy is it to set up? That, that was it. I just turned on my phone. Go to Google Play. I'm going to choose English. On your phone, Google Pixel Watch, install. Google Pixel. Okay, what's my battery percent? Connecting to Google Pixel Watch. Well, that was easy. Confirm PIN. Confirm. Terms of service, sure, I agree. Allow, allow. Connecting to your watch, this could take a hot minute. Wow, that is a very, continue on phone. Checking for Google account, oh, can't see this part. Now will it lay flat? Yes, it will. Okay, which watch should I take off? Let's take off this old Apple watch. Then I'll transfer, yeah. So it's gonna ask you to choose an account and then you confirm. I had to enter my then, signing in. This could take a minute. <sighs> I 
Well, that setup took longer than expected. I mean, it was fine. It was fine. But I will admit this. It has a nice, nice look. Definitely recommend downloading and signing up for a Fitbit account if you haven't done already. So I'm going to say join Fitbit. No, I'm going to log in. I already have an account. I've been using Fitbit since, since 2013. Almost, yeah, almost 10 years. Mobile track, grant permission, allow. So one cool thing that Fitbit does, it allows you to track your steps through the phone. Awesome, mobile track is enabled. So set up device. Okay, let's, this view isn't working out. There we go, that's better. Then we can charge a little bit. All right, 84, almost. So it probably came at about 70, 65%, give or take. Wow, that's weird to see a Google Pixel watch under Fitbit. Set personal and health and fitness goals, get insight. Sure, set up. Privacy, uh-huh, sell my soul. Connecting to your watch. This could take about a minute. Keep your watch nearby and establish a connection. Okay. Yes, Malakwa, I did close my knife, but hey, let's open it again. Ready? I am filming on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. In case you're wondering, with a lav mic connected through JSOX. I don't know if we can read that. Nope, it won't quite work. I'll send you a picture. 20 exercises to achieve from active minutes. Yep, you can pause and read all that. Only available in select countries, not for intended for use by people under 22 years old. What the heck does that mean? So not for kids. Fitbit's ready for your Google Pixel watch. I hope so. In what year did Google purchase Fitbit? Here's something else. November 2019. According to The Verge, Google announced its acquisition of Fitbit over a year ago in November 2019 when Osterloh called it an opportunity to invest even more in Wear OS as well as introduce made by Google wearable devices into the market. Use the Google Pixel Watch app to manage your watch and change watch faces and update preferences. You don't say. Well, that's cool. Done. Okay, premium. Your Google Pixel Watch comes with a six month Fitbit premium. That's a savings of 60 bucks. Health metrics dashboard, stress management analytics, Sleep score, see all premium features. That is awesome. Pay annually, $79 a year. Pay monthly, I'm going to say pay month to month for now. Start membership. And then it's going to ask me to use Google Pay. Now this part's really important. When you have kids in the house, a prompt like this, payment successful require authentication for purchases? Yes, always. <laughs> you don't want your kids uh, spending your money without your permission. Welcome. You're officially a premium member. How cool is that? That is, I'm in the club. I'm in the club. Okay, sync today a moment ago. Firmware version, nice. Open the Google Pixel Watch app. Yes, let's do that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna talk to you and then we're gonna do a screen recording. You know, sometimes you can't prevent these and whether you want to or not, they just push the update and that's fine. It's so rare that when you take a watch out of the box, even this one, the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro by Samsung. This one had an update on day one. Hmm, interesting. So now we'll try the big bad boy, one of the largest smartwatches on the market, the Phoenix 7X. Now we'll try an original Apple Watch. Yeah, the original Apple Watch is bigger screen real estate wise. I like the splash screen. The magnet could be, yeah. Yeah, the magnet could be, oh, that's nice. Starting still, all right. Let's compare one more. This is the OnePlus watch by OnePlus. This one I think is about the perfect size. And if we compare them screen to screen, let's take the charger off for a minute. Not that thin, but not that thick. Hi there, learn how to use your new watch. All right, let's start with swipes. Okay, swipe up for notification. Finishing update, access from the watch face. Swipe down for quick settings. Access quick settings from the watch face. Swipe to the left 
for tiles. You can swipe from the left edge, apps, tiles, and more. Let's learn about tiles. Tiles are accessed from the watch face and show helpful, useful stuff. Yep, yeah, okay. Swipe left or right through tiles. So we have steps, heart rate. Now let's learn about the two buttons. Cool. Press the crown to go back to the watch face. Fitbit today. Okay, the crown. Nice. There's some haptic feedback there. I think if I put this on the box, you'll be able to hear it. Fitbit today. Hey, Logan. Yeah, sorry, son. I borrowed your Fitbit account. Okay, when, okay, you can return to the watch face anytime. Got it. From this watch face, press the crown for apps. So we do a long press. We got agenda, alarm. You can get to all your apps from here. Press the side button for recently used apps. Oh, that button is kind of hard to press. Want to learn a few trips? Try later. Okay, all set. To switch, okay. Talk, long press, double press, restart or turn off, press the crown for three seconds, touch and hold the watch face to customize. You're a pro. Time to use your new watch. Oh, thanks, Google. So we can do a long press. Nice. Okay, why can't I scroll through the watch faces? That's kind of lame. So these are the default watch faces that you're going to get. We got this one right here. We have big time. Okay, that is big time. We have track. All right, that one, that's okay. We have radial. Oh, that's cool. So you can just scroll up or scroll down and get the notifications. Nice. It has airplane mode. Does it have a battery estimate? Charge remaining. Battery saver. Okay, it's still learning my behavior. Turns off always on screen and tilt to wake. Interesting. Okay, after radial, we have concentric. Okay, this one. I saw this in another video review. That is really slick. Yeah, I, I like that one a lot. So putting on the watch band, pretty easy. So I have to put it against my chest a little bit. This is the large watch band that it comes with. Slide it in, very similar to an Apple Watch. Let's review some more watch faces. So the concentric, everyday watch face. We got the date, heart rate. Okay, that was a pretty good RAM test right there. That was pretty zippy. Classic. Nice. Refresh rate takes a little bit. So that probably takes me to Fitbit today. So we have the steps. Okay, response time is pretty good. It's quickly, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Utility. Nice. So utility, classic, everyday, concentric, radial, track, big time, pilot bold. Add new, abstract, analog. Okay, now we can use the crown. Dial, index, pilot bold, prime, radial, shapes, vista. That one looks kind of funky. Then we can customize them, edit, loading. We have the ocean, desert, meadow. Can go for ocean. So if I swipe up, is there a shortcut to turn on always on display? Doesn't look like it. There's the brightness setting, adaptive brightness. So it does have a light indicator. I would hope so for 350. Here's the flashlight. So this is where you can see the bezel. So if we compare this to a Galaxy Watch 5, the bezel is about that much thicker. So the actual watch screen is not that large on this watch. And you can really see that when you go to assistant and whatnot. What's the weather in Barbados? Currently in Bridgetown, St. Michael, Barbados, it's 84 degrees and mostly sunny. Today. What's the weather in Milan, Italy? Right now in Milan, Italy, it's 63 degrees and cloudy. Tonight, the forecast is around 62 with rain. How many steps have I taken? Sorry, I can't do that yet. You can try using... Google Assistant works quite well. What is that? 
turns off the touch screen. Turn off touch lock. Oh, well that's cool. So it locks the screen. Very nice. So if we go into settings, connectivity, display, auto brightness, font size, always on display. Yes, turn on, wrist orientation, right or left. You can rotate the crown. So one thing I like about this is if you are left-handed and you want this over here, you would want the crown face like this. And this is what the watch will do. Apple does this as well. And a lot of watches just really don't care about this setting. So if we go to setting, go to display, wrist orientation. So we're gonna say on the right, but we're gonna put the crown on the left. And now it swaps it. And now it's a true watch for left-handers. The quick top off, it's 1508, 84%. Nice. Yeah, that magnet is not strong at all, but at least you don't have to plug it in. I wonder if this would charge on a Samsung charger. Is it Qi compliant? Let's find out. Okay, well, the band doesn't... <gasps> oh, that is awesome. Okay, that's that is sick. Okay, let's... I didn't watch the video about how to change the band, but I watched some online. That didn't work. You shouldn't have to watch a video on how to change the band. Okay, apparently you do have to watch the video. All right, but the point is it charges on a Samsung charger. And for me, that's huge. Oh, that is so cool. So cool. Let's try one more thing. I'm gonna try a Samsung charger. So watch this. Should charge the Samsung. There we go, 89%. Awesome. Will it charge the Pixel? Ah, oh, bummer. Nope. Let's so far, so good. So this first charger, this is the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic Charger. This is the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Charger. See, see the difference? Old, new, the new one's smaller, and of course, Yes, it charges the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, and it also charges the Galaxy Watch 4. But the 4 one doesn't charge the Pixel. But if you have a Galaxy Watch 5 by Samsung, oh yeah, it's compatible. And it's about the same wattage. I'll, I'll double check. 83%, so, that sense. so now we're gonna use OEM because we all know OEM is best. I'll be doing some more testing on the charging. So 15, 17, and it's at 83%. We'll use Google Assistant here. Hey Google, set timer, 10 minutes. There we go. We'll come back in 10 minutes and check the progress of this watch. So far, I like it. Again, it's one of those things where you have to have two apps because all of your health stuff is going through Fitbit. And you're also gonna be bouncing back between this Google Pixel app. Let's see what's it look like. The watch app right there. Blip. So we have watch faces, we have the Vista. Oh, much easier on this one, much easier. Add new, featured watch faces. Yeah, let's try that. While we're waiting for it to charge, we're gonna multitask. Top Gun Hybrid, this looks pretty cool. Install, app will be installed on your watch. Oh, you can do a TOG, I, I don't know how to pronounce this, TOG Hauer Carrera watch face. That's only 99 cents, you know? You, my viewers, you're worth 99 cents. So we're gonna spend a dollar, tap to buy. There, I just spent a dollar. The nice thing is I'll be able to use this on other Wear OS devices, so that's pretty cool. I might be able to use it on this one, which is Wear OS. Subscribe to Google Play Pass and get one month free trial. No thanks. We got that one installing. Radial, ooh, a Halloween watch face. That looks pretty cool. What do you think? Should I buy that? No, I don't think so. I already spent 99 cents. Okay, here's kind of a cool chronograph one. That might look pretty nice on the watch, and it's free. Contains ads, no thanks. Ooh, here we go. This one, a dollar, dollar 49, 99 cents. The Ball OZ, Ball 0Z1, is that how that's pronounced? Hybrid watch face. Well, the splash screen's nice, but I don't know. 
It does have 500 downloads. That's good. Okay, let's browse the app. Okay, I'm not talking much yourselves. We'll be back in another six minutes. Timer is done. Check on the watch. 97%. All right. That is not too shabby. Let's see if it gives us an estimate yet. Battery, charge remaining. Nope, doesn't have a charge estimate yet, but that's okay. Completing setup, installed two out of three. Okay, looks like I have some more work to do. Okay, very nice fluidity, see that? Boom, clear all. Looks like we have to enable, come on. Use location, yes, allowed. Weather, allow all the time. There we go. To see local weather, turn on your location. I did. Settings. Battery, there we go. Location. Yes, use location. So there's the steps. Really responsive. Media controls. Ooh. Aura rings. Oh yeah, because I'm watching this video right now on my phone. So that's great that it quickly just connected. So I can play that. I can change the volume. Please tell me about steps. See your daily goal. I would think I can use the crown, or and I can. Now, an anomaly here, and a and a bug. Or there's no haptic feedback in this section. No, nope, no haptic feedback here either. So there's not consistent haptic feedback on the crown. That's unfortunate. So if we, oh, you know what? It's probably because it's charging. Okay, let's just not use it. No, so it has a media shortcut. Awesome. Battery life, 99%. Okay, we'll just let it rest, 1532. You know what, right after I turn off the camera, it's fully charged. Time of full life, 1533. It's running some updates in the background, so we're gonna let it ride. Be back in a few more minutes. This one is charged to full. This one is charged to full. Let some more testing begin. I really think a lot of people would be on the fence between getting a Pixel Watch or a Galaxy Watch. They're both Android Wear OS. They're both designed for Android phones. This one's made by Google. This one's made by Samsung. We're gonna compare them as we learn more about this one. This one was 500. This one was 400, so really close on the price. They both have LTE, they both have AOD, they both track sleep, health. This one is more paired with the, well, it is paired with the Fitbit ecosystem, and this is paired with the Samsung S Health, or just Samsung Health System. So it's been a couple of hours. So far, so good. It's a little, it's different. It's kind of like, Yes, it's a Pixel Watch. Oh, and it does Fitbit. So the connection, the marriage between the Google Pixel Watch and it being also a Fitbit is, it's a rough marriage <laughs> and it's day one. So short honeymoon. The other thing is there's a lot of premium features that come with other Fitbit devices for far less that are missing on the Pixel Watch. For example, the whole EDA scan. The EDA scan is available on this one, you know, a very simplistic smartwatch, but I'm not seeing it on here. So, I mean, there's the apps, but there's no EDA scan. I don't see a lot of stuff, and I think that's coming later. So again, they're falling victim to, ah, the problem a lot of companies create for themselves. They go, oh, hey, here's this brand new watch. It's so awesome. You got to buy it. Oh, by the way, a lot of the features you really want aren't quite there yet. And we may, we or may not provide them later this year. Anyway, it's been a couple hours. I like the AOD. We're going to test some battery life here. We're going to test sleeping tonight. We're going to do some workouts, but so far, so good. Let's go outside and see how it looks under sunlight, and we'll wrap up this video. Here we are in direct sunlight. Samsung and Google. Not bad. All right, we got lucky. I am almost to my goal animation. Let's 
we can show you the fun part of the Samsung watch. Or not. Come on, Samsung. That's weird. Normally, right at 4,000, it does a little cool animation. Well, it looks like it's not perfect. Not perfect at all. And I still need a lot more steps from Google. That was a lot more detailed <laughs> than my normal day one reviews, but it's it's been good. I'm just kind of questioning the overall package. <laughs> one word, refinement. And, and it, <laughs> it really doesn't, it's not logical because Google bought Fitbit. So did they not want the Pixel to be as good as the Sense or the other 10 different trackers that Fitbit made? Were they more focused on the smartwatch? The style's good, I like it. Again, I wish it were actually a little bigger. I prefer like the 40 millimeter or 45. You know, this, this size is about perfect for my liking, but depending on your wrist size, maybe you'll like this one. Again, my wrists are just around seven inches. So if you have a seven inch wrist, this is how it's gonna look on your body. Anyway, that's all I have for now. We went really detailed, <laughs> and I hope I answer a lot of questions by comparing it to the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. We'll have more comparison. I'm gonna continue to run the batteries down, and then I'll do a follow-up on battery life. Right now, I'm running AOD, so let's see, about 16 hours of use, but I was sleeping for almost nine, yeah, the battery drains fast. So the other reviewers weren't lying. When you have AOD always on display enabled, the battery really drains. When we started making this video, now we're down to 45% battery life. I'm hoping that it does an estimate. It does have battery saver, a lot of nice features. The fact that they completely missed being able to schedule a do not disturb window. I'm not gonna say it's unforgivable, but that's kind of a huge error, but it's something they could easily fix in the next rollout. I love, love the fact that I can charge it with Qi Wireless and other chargers, and the fact that it worked with this newer Samsung little hockey puck, that's a huge bonus. So if I were to go traveling this weekend, I could just bring one charging puck with me, travel less. Thank you so much for watching, appreciate your time, and let me know your thoughts. Uh, this is, you know, a public forum. So if you think I'm completely wrong and I'm half-baked, let me know. If you have this Google Pixel Watch and you think they've done a fabulous job, pithy comments, type those down below. And I'll have another review about this gadget, this smart watch by Google, very soon. Sorry, Paramount Kid. Wait, of course, yes. No, sorry, yes. Let the credits roll for the Paramount Kid. I'll see you again sometime in the next, oh, I don't know, 88 hours or less. Goodbye.